you look at the um, even if you look at the carbo loading research, it's, it's quite interesting, right? Because it's not it's not as simple as what people may believe. It is, and because what happens is, it may make a difference over like counterintuitively over actual shorter events like thirty minutes. Because because if you because you do what happens is you the more carbs you have on board at the start, you burn more carbs at the start. So you you really go into the high octane, just burning carbs as much as you can, no fat oxidation. But if you have someone over the course of an Ironman, the person who has carbo loaded, they burn carbs at such a fast rate, by an hour and a half, they're in exactly the same position as the person who hasn't carbo loaded. So actually for an Ironman, it doesn't make any difference because by an hour and a, hour and a half, you're in the exact same state. So people think I'm carbo loading for an Ironman. You're not, you're just making yourself burn more carbs at the start. And I don't think that's I don't think that's a good thing, you know. You just make you know think of the think of the off the um the what's happening with the dirty metabolism of more carbohydrates as well. Yeah. Um, for one of a better word, so it's um it's just it's totally misunderstood. And if you look at if anyone actually went into the research and really looked at it, they'd see that it's not after an hour and a half over an eight, nine, ten, eleven hour event making no difference really. It's just making you feel sluggish. Yeah. Which, I mean, is counterintuitive, isn't it? So, I mean, that's just reinforcing that activation of the Randall cycle in which, you know, the substrate that we, we prioritize in is going to be utilized first 